it's hard work. So I'm happy, I'm excited. So yeah, that means there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. Being a father is, is new, but um, being an entrepreneur has been, is, is been what I've been doing for the like last um, 12 to 13 years. It's challenging, but it's, uh, it's, the, it's the best thing that can ever happen to anybody. doesn't change anything. It's, the deal he signed doesn't mean that he, he can do something here in Nigeria. So he, he continues the same business here, but they handle the others at the other end. Um, what we did the other day at Paul's office is, you know, we're in a very busy period. It's difficult for us to travel. You know, it's not, it's not something that you can go and travel and do and stay for one day and come back. So what we did was, they had to seal up something at least before next year. So what we did was a preliminary si signing. You know, we sign, you agree. We've been going back and forth for like three months, or three or four months or thereabouts. So when the contract was right, we had to sign our copy here and then send it to them. They will sign. So when we go back, they will pick up our copy. The one they have signed as well. So yeah, that's when they will officially announce it. influence anybody's music. I just know that before I sign an artist, I know the qualities they have, and I know where they are going to go. You see, you can't, I can't tell techno, I don't like this music. He knows his craft. That's a, that's a good thing I know about techno. He knows his craft. Even with him, I, I record his music at the time. He used to record his music. I come and listen to it. We just pick and agree on what. You know, techno is a producer, you know, so, Techno already understands the sound he wants to give people. You know, so it's the same. I don't influence any of my artist's music in like, the, in the, I'm, if I'm right, you're trying to ask that, do I tell them this must be the music you will drop? No, I don't do that. They record the music, I listen to it, we, we, we sit down and I agree, okay, let's, let's go with this. Business is business, so. Sometime in 2005, I came to Lagos with my brother. So he, he was doing um, TV shows, like um, reality TV shows. So, and then I was organizing the after parties for the eviction parties and all that. So that's how I got to, I started knowing artists and then started getting interested, interested in making the talking about music, you know, then Two-Face, AOI. AOI was a young comedian trying to make sure that he can break the, uh, make his mark in the industry at the time. So, yeah, so I, I was interested and then I started managing a few artists, low-key. And then I, I got to a point where I said, you know, for you to get, to be respected in this industry and create your mark in the industry, you have to find one person and break in that person. So a friend introduced me to Nyaya. So I kept bugging for some time and he finally agreed that we should work. So, yeah. <sighs> Structure. That's it. Until we're properly structured, artists will continue leaving labels, fighting labels, they will continue fighting artists. You know, you see, there's a sad thing that happens in the Nigerian entertainment industry because you know, when it happens to you, you feel like you're the worst person in the world. And then when it happens to another person, so people don't understand that it keeps happening every day. That's because there's no structure. So until there's a structure in the Nigerian team industry where everybody come and agree, this issue that's going on right now will continue. And it's continue to the point that the industry might, you, people might not be interested in music anymore. Because when somebody is serving you good music and then he starts fighting with his label, music doesn't come from a sad place, it comes from a happy place. So immediately that thing starts happening to you, it affects your music. Look, check the industry very well. If you leave your label, you go down for a minute. If you are not strong and someone that has an extra content, it's difficult for you to rise up. Well, we're trying. Uh, maybe five, six years ago, it was not as good as it is right now. But um, I'm sure between now and 2020, 
artists might not really care about performing at shows but only to make money. So there will be a lot of different um, avenues to make money. Streaming, streaming is the future of music right now. So, so I'm get, I want to get to the point where a show promoter doesn't, um, an artist is not at the mercy of a show promoter for him to feel like he's successful. He can buy a house just from his content. He can buy a house just from um, not just going for shows. You know, when we get to that point, then you understand how structured they, they, what I'm saying. And that can only happen if there's proper structure. An artist should be able to drop a song at one click of the, bo of the, of the email. The whole country is playing the song in avenues where you have to pay to get the song. Radios at the end of the day. Kosan have been, they've been doing well, radios have been paying, so. Well, everybody's on the fast lane, nobody wants to slow up, slow down, and if you're, if you're the biggest artist in the country today, you think you want to slow down and wait for another person, and, and wait to structure the industry before you move, everybody's moving. So what we need to do is we need to structure now so that the guys that are coming five years ago, five years from now, will come and benefit in the structure. So when, when you come and you see, if I come here and you say, okay, listen, you can't walk into my house with shoes, right? I'll drop my shoes outside no matter where I am. You know, there are times you go to a place because you are respected in the place. When you walk in, you see shoes outside. Even if you're wearing your shoes inside, you feel the guilt to be, the guilt to be written all over you until you leave. So now, five years from now, if we start the structure today, five years from now, there'll be that structure for us too. So with five years coming, any artist that comes into the industry and you see a structure, you have to follow that structure. Well, it's, this thing is collective, it's not just me. You know, I wake up one day, I, I'm interested in politics, so one day you see me leave the industry and go into politics. So, and when I do that, there will be that gap that, that nobody can replace me. Everybody can always only be themselves. So, I want to go and if I go into politics, I want to see if I can use the government route to see if I can be part of their structure. Since I have understood the Nigerian entertainment industry very well, so they need somebody like us in the government cycle, either through the senator to a House of Representative member, a House of Rep member, or a governor, or a president, to be able to tell the country that, listen, you know, um, as, as much as there's a lot of money in oil, there's a lot of money in entertainment. Well, I'm not going to say who's next. I know that there are a lot of artists that are coming up. Um, I've signed Chips. I don't know if you heard of Chips. I have somebody I'm signing today. I'm going to sign like four artists between now and January, but I'm just going to unveil them in January. I have a plan on what I want to do. You know, I don't believe in carrying an artist that is ready-made. I want someone that I can, I will, I will suffer through the process, yeah. Not suffer, but like someone that will give me a different experience about life.